Hey, Jesse, look. I've been thinking, and I think we should see other people. I just, I can't have any fun with you. You're just so, so boring. You're boring, Jesse. You don't have any passions or, or ambitions. You've had the same desk job for how many years? Look, I have to go. I can't deal with this anymore. Jesse Wright doesn't say much. When he came to the cafe on his lunch break, he stared blankly into space, tie still snug around his neck. Shared laugh, some decent food, just someone to listen to him for a moment. Mr. Wright? Uh, yes. Why? I've been looking for you my entire life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You still like girls, right? Who are you again? I'm the guy that's buying your inventory. I have a proposal for you. We're talking 400 pounds and 75 a pound. Jesse doesn't know this man. But he thinks that Jesse is someone else. For once, Jesse feels alive. Look, I'm gonna cut you a deal. We can do 60 a pound, but I've gotta get a thousand from you. Here, I'll go a thousand pounds at 55 a pound. Or I'm out the door. Jesse felt like a rock, at least for a moment. Look, I'll do 55 and a thousand pounds in a favor. Deal? Jesse can't remember the last time he shook someone's hand or made $55,000 over coffee. What he does know is that Jesse is boring and that he could be anyone but. His lunch breaks would never be the same. Jesse was an admissions worker for a university, a friend of a friend and a bachelor. He was everything anybody wanted him to be. He would search the cafe for people looking for someone and he would gesture them over. Jesse was living. He listened to a kid preach about how badly he wanted to go to school, shared a laugh about when Mark fell in the river at camp seven or eight years ago, and he realized that she just wasn't his type. But what he did learn is that he was happy. I didn't think he'd show. I was really pissed at the phone. No problem. Let's make this clear. You are going to stop seeing her. You're going to erase her from your contacts. Skip town, plain and simple. What makes you think that? Nothing is going to get between my wife, my marriage, my family. It will hurt you. No one will. I love her, and she loves me too. Jesse Wright had never been punched before, and it was the greatest feeling. 